So when I uh, have to type IPA, I tend to use uh, one of the fonts or um, the type IPA website. Um, and I don't use Unicode. But um, I wanted to try because some of you were having difficulty and I had the same difficulty. So I um, found um, some resources that showed me how to do it and I wanted to pass them along to you. If you go into your system preferences on a Mac, you'll select the keyboard. And then from here, you're going to select input sources. This shows you the keyboards that you um, have installed for your computer. Um, currently, I only have the United States keyboard, but I'm going to add a keyboard. And in the search box, I'll just type, start typing Unicode, and it comes right up. I'm going to select the Unicode hex input and add it to the keyboards available to me on my computer. Then I can close that. Now, up in the toolbar, uh, an American flag has appeared. That's showing me which keyboard I currently have selected. I'm going to change that to the Unicode hex input. And the American flag changes to a U+. Now, here's the really important part uh, to make this work. You have to be using a font that's compatible with Unicode symbols. Um, and you have to be careful because that um, uh, keyboard can change back on you. So keep an eye on that American flag. So now that I'm in my document, I'm currently using uh, Charis SIL the, as one of the um, IPA compatible fonts. And with that font selected, now if I press the Option key and keep it held down while I type 0259, then a, an IPA symbol appears, the schwa. And so just make sure that you use an IPA compatible font and make sure that the keyboard stays activated up in your toolbar and that should work for you. Give that a shot. If you have any trouble, let me know and we'll troubleshoot it together. Thanks.